All right. Um, Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum. Very good morning. Um, I can see a few participants already. Can you hear me? <coughs> yes, I can hear you. Yes. Great. Okay, first of all, um, welcome to the uh, second day of uh, AMDI Virtual Open Day. So, so today, for this special day, uh, I'm going to be your host. Um, and do some uh, um, uh, briefing about the program, MSc of Science in Transfusion Science. So, um, so can we start now? Or shall we wait a few minutes for another participant? Um, wait. So if everyone can hear me, I'm going to start now. Shall we start? Okay. All right. Um, so I've come, you guys. So, all right. So um, let me introduce myself first. Uh, I'm Dr. Efa. I'm the uh, program. I'm here as a program chairperson for the Master of Science in Transfusion Science program. So um, um, I'll, I'll I'll show a brief introductions, a short video uh, about the program. Yeah. So let's start with a short video. Right, that's about it. A, a brief um, introduction on what is transition uh, transition science program is, and also um, a little bit introduction about the origin of the program. So this program has been established since, since two thousand seven, and is so far the only transition related science program offered in Asia region. So this is a, a one year full time MSc degree which offers a theoretical and technical skills in laboratory related to blood transfusion, 
and transplantation. And we are in close partnership with Ministry of Health and a National Blood Center for accredited uh, training facilities. And like All right, just some legging here. Um, sorry, there's some like um this slide four point. Hmm. I'll stop with uh, I'll pause the sharing for for a while. Wait. It looks like the PowerPoint is not working. Um, I'll take a few minutes to fix it. All right. Okay, now it's responding. Okay, I'll continue from here. So what do we have to offer to our potential students for this program? So apart from the um, a well experienced line of teachers that we have in the course, which they also have an advanced knowledge in the, their respective field. Um, in IPPT, we also coupled with the advanced um, instruments that we have that actually helps in terms of the teaching process. And it's also worth to mention that the syllabus that we have in this program is um, constantly updated to meet the Industrial Revolution 4.0 so that when you graduated, that the, the knowledge and the skills that you have is still relevant um, with, the, um, with the demand industries that you um, involve. Okay. And also the conducive learning environment that we have here in IPPD, it helps in terms of learning experience as well. And the fact that um, in USM, we have adopted the blended learning approach. So it, it's actually, it actually gives more um, co comprehensive learning experience to the, to the student themselves because it involves, it's, it's like a blended learning that you, you, ha you have gained more knowledge uh, during the um, learning process. So you have more hands-on, you have more like um, a triggers or sort of a, like a simulation that you can actually experience it yourself. And lastly, that the, the fact that we have supportive and friendly staff and student association, association will help you in um, you know, adapting well with the, with the environment here in IPPD. And most importantly, this program, the Transfusion Science Program or TTS program, it is accredited by the MQA. So MQA is the Malaysian Qualification Agency, which is very important. And um, the recognition by MQA is very important in terms of um, mm -hmm. academic program because it ensures that yeah, the academic program that you registered is uh, credential and recognized by um, both industries and also the um, government. So um, among the advantages of the um, program, academic program that have um, MQA accreditation is that you have less um, issues with funding. You have um, easy, not easy, you have an um, sort of um, um, a, a more lenient procedures in terms of credit transfer if you have uh, some um, you know relevant courses that you have previously in previous um, courses that you have in your pre uh, previous universities that you that you may want to have uh, some credit transfer so that is possible as well but it um, it depends on the rules and regulation of the universities and thirdly if you have if you register to an uh, accredited academic program it helps you in terms of employment. And so most of the, uh, what we call the M 
employers they are looking for the accredited program um, graduates. So if you graduated from a um, recognized program, so it make your chances to get hired um, more. Uh, you get you are you're getting higher chances of getting her getting employment uh, in, in that sense. So and lastly, that the recognition um, between in, you know between institutions allow the recognitions of that particular program. Um, right. So basically, the admission requirement for this program is if you have a bachelor's mm -hmm. in science in related fields, um, such as biology, um, biomedicines, uh, medicines, and you have in major in biology. So uh, also, if you have MBBS, MD, or equivalent degree from a recognized institution, you may want to um, you know register for the course and. Uh, and, and see if it's relevant to your um, future prospect um, objectives. So the program structure, it is a one year program, two plus one semesters, and it is a mixed mode program, which consists of a formal taught pro uh, courses plus a research dissertation. So the, right, it, this is the uh, one year program timeline for the MSc uh, for this uh, TTS MSc program. And so all in all, all you have to do is you have to complete the 40 credit units in one year. So basically you have a three semesters, semester, semester one, semester two, and semester three, which is also known as short semester. So for this, uh, for this semester, it begins in um, on October 2020 until March 2021, where you have to complete a four modules in semester one and four modules in semester two, and you're going to sit and submit your um, research dissertation and sit for your viable OSI in semester three or short semester. So in order to complete your dissertation, you have already conducted your research project in semester one and semester two. And you're going to complete this dissertation and submit and sit for VIVA in semester three. So that's uh, the whole pro program um, um, courses. So you can do it in one year. So in terms of career, career wise, um, so the future perspective mostly related to the blood and transfusion, um, blood transfusion and transplantation services. And so they are, they are potentials, um, potential employment as sense officers at the blood bank services, transplant station unit, stem cell trans treatment services. And as well as relevant services offering blood transfusion and transplantation. So they are also pot, uh, pot, uh, future prospects or technical advisors or a sales consultant for the lab diagnostics tools and apparatuses. So also depending on the uh, the, the lab setting in your region, uh, there is also a potential uh, post for a general hematology laboratory consultant. Um, so. But basically about the career pathways of um, TTS MSc graduates, uh, but it's not limited to these. There are many more opportunities that you may want to venture. But we can make, discuss more about it later. If you have an inquiry, you can drop us an email, and I'll I'll share the email uh, detail later. Right. So next i'm gonna explain a bit a bit a brief about the uh, team members of the program um looks like have having the same pro problem the slide is not working right so i have to stop sharing for a moment and start sharing back Mm -hmm. mm, right. So it's so like the, 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 the PowerPoint is not working. And that's okay. Um, I see a few questions just now. So if, if okay, Ms. Shubashini, 
Okay, can you hear me? Ms. Shubashi, can you hear me? Um, Shubashi, can you? Okay, all right. So your microphone is not working. That's okay. So the question is, um, um, okay, look, I applied. Oh, I applied with the Bachelor of Wellness. Is that okay? Yeah, totally okay. Uh, that, that that is okay. But um, if you can discuss more with us, what are the courses or the content that you have um, learned in your in your previous courses, that will be easier for us to facilitate with you. Whether this course is actually suitable for you, or there's another program that probably relevant with your background. So, do you mind sharing with us in details about the courses that you have the earlier in your degree? Right, so you basically have uh, nutrition, physiology, sports science, management, statistic, and I think I applied it for internship with all the subjects. So I think it is relevant with the course. Mm -hmm. if, if, if I may ask you something, do you have a interest, an in, in, in interest, or sort of like, um, how to say, your passion actually about the blood transfusion service, if I may ask? Right, that's good. That's good. Um, that's good. I, I, um, I'm hoping that I can hear your voice and we can talk. You know, in a in a more like lively session. But that's okay. That's that's okay. We're adapting to the new norm anyway. So, um, if you're interested, that's that's I think um, should be should be good enough. But um, I'll be honest with you. So this program is like a highly specialized program. So it's like it's it's like you are specializing in detail about the transfusion services already. It's no longer a general MSc degree. So it's like you are dedicating your MSc in transfusion services. Like I mentioned earlier, there are career pathways that you may be relevant to that definitely relevant with the, the, the MSc degrees with this program. But uh, bear in mind that if it's related to transfusion and transplantation, it's really more on the clinical side. So they, if you're non, you are, you are and not previously exposed to the clinical, clinical related um, courses, so that is probably kind of difficult for you, but it's, I have seen students who have had uh, different backgrounds, biochemistry, um, um, biology, plant biology, but they managed, do, they, they do manage doing well with the program. So I think it's not, it's not an excuse actually, but as long as you have interest, so I think you, you're, going, you're going to do well with this program. So if you have an interest, I, I don't find it um, difficult for you to adapt and to you know to have this course as your future yeah you know future plan for you to proceed with. So yeah, definitely uh, back to your question. Definitely you can apply for this program uh, if they, those are the the courses that you have earlier in your degree. Uh, so also, do you have? Any like uh, physio blood physiology before you studied in your during your undergraduate program? Yes. Yep. Right. Okay. That, that's good. Um, that's good. Um, I'm glad that you are convinced with it. All right. So I hope um we will see you. Um, in October, perhaps? 
That, that's okay if you didn't uh you didn't study anything related to blood or hematology. That's okay. But I think you have take so you, you took one of the physiology study before in your undergraduate. Right. So is that human physiology? Rizwan, I see, I see Rizwan here. Yeah, Rizwan here. All right, Rizwan. Okay, welcome, welcome to the session. <laughs> thank you for joining us. Uh, thank okay. you for joining us. Yeah. So uh, I know you're you are very keen on the program. Um, hope to see you soon, the program. But make sure you graduate at first. <laughs> okay. Okay. All right. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so back to the question, it is human physiology. So I, I, I guess it's you're doing, you will be doing okay for the program. So I, I'm not worried much about it. We, we can have a discussion in details more later. You can drop me an email, you can have, or we can communicate later in, um, after this. I'll continue with the slide presentation. Looks like I have a problem with sharing the slides just now. You know, the slide is not working. Um, I'll stop sharing for, for a while. Share content. Do you guys see my slides? Oh no. Restart the PowerPoint. Okay, I'll try to restart the PowerPoint. Stop sharing. Close the PowerPoint. All right. Okay, now it's working. All right, so um, this is how I finish with the career pathway. I'll start with introduce, introducing uh, with the team member. So it begins with me. I'm the current program chairperson and Dr. Emmanuel. Um, he will be take over the program and for the next semester, 2020-2021 intake. And of course, our head of cluster, Dr. Noor Azul Abdul Rahim, I think he's joining us, but I can't see his, um, but later I'll introduce a bit. So he is the uh, head of cluster for the regenerative medicine cluster, which offered the program, this program, the S program. Dr. Sura Emina Sohana, the module coordinator. Dr. Ahazad Ahli as a module coordinator, Dr. Sharif Aziana as module coordinator, Dr. Farazida Hassan as module coordinator, and also the rest of Regenerative Medicine Cluster members. So, right, so wait no more, let yourself to the bell that you will join us now, register for October 2020 intake, and have a blast one year with us. So do follow us on Facebook, Advanced Medical and Dental Institute USM, do drop us an email, reach us out via uh, efa at usm.my or you can contact our assistant registrant at usmadi and you can uh, drop him an e email at usmadi at usm.my and, and, and if you have a, like a sort of a sorry to interrupt uh, okay, uh, I, did, I didn't see the slides and you talk pretty fast so oh, right, sorry <laughs> right uh, all right. right. Okay. Thank you for letting me know because uh, I thought that everyone can see my slides. Okay. So, right. I'll start sharing the screen. I guess I right. Yeah. Okay. Now. Thank you, Rita. No problem. Right. So, um, right. So here's the the backbone of the program, the current coordinator, I'm the current coordinator, Dr. Emmanuel, the future uh, program chairperson, um, Dr. Azwa, the uh, head of cluster for Institute of Medicine Cluster, 
Our model coordinators, Dr. Surah Emilia Suhana, Dr. Ahzad Hadi, Dr. Sharif Azdiana, Dr. Farah Zida, and also our lecturers from uh, Regenerative Medicine class members. Um, so yeah, again, I would like to welcome you guys to register to the course, be a better you, and join us for the next semester. Follow us on Facebook, Advanced Medical and Dental Institute, USM, and do reach us out, drop us an email. You can drop us. A, you can drop an email to me if you have any further inquiry. F I U S M dot M Y or to our assistant registrar, Mr. Yusmadi Norashid. You have if you have a um, technical questions like you know the the minimum requirement for admission, the process the, uh, of um, registration, so things like that. If you want to have a you know a meeting eye to eye with us ways us on the uh, the, the the address the look the direction on ways is science at Bertam. So do ways us come come and and meet us here in Bertam. Um, at science at Bertam, right? So do browse the website www.md.usm.my/msctes for more details and information about the program. Okay, so, right, so I'm going to share with you guys a, a few, not all, but a few of the facilities that we have in the regenerative flat. Um, not but, but, but bear in mind that your, how to say, that usage is not only limited to this lab. If you have, um, if you have a, like, um, requirement that you need to go to another lab and use another instrument that is allowable that is that is something that is not possible you are always welcome to use all the instruments in the lab as long as you are a registered student in, in IPPT so i'm going to i'm going to show you a video it was prepared by apa kwan shazwani our science officer vegetative medicine science officer so yeah let's have some look There's a fire. There's a fire. Right, that's about it. Um, uh, there are part of the instruments or um, facilities that we have in the lab, but we have other labs as well. So yeah, if you if you are the students, of course you are welcome to use uh, the facilities here. All right. So, so now I'm going to share with you a video prepared by all um, alumni, um, you know, sharing with you what are the experiences um, after graduating from the program and as a student um, for the TTS program. So let's see what they have to say about this. Right, so this, this video is prepared by one of our students, previous student, Nur Hamiza. And she is currently science officer at year at a blood bank, so Hospital Sultan and Zahira. <laughs> Overall, I think it was an incredible one-year venture learning at RD. Percussion science program was innovative, interesting, and practical to my roadmates. 
It is a specialized program taught by experts covering the science of transfusion and transplantation. Not only we were taught with abundance of theoretical knowledge, the structure of the program also includes research dissertation, technical training in the laboratory, and attachment training at the National Blood Center Kuala Lumpur. At AMD, we were taught using both conventional and attractive modern approaches to the aid of online platform and tools. There were, of course, a lot of assignments and presentations, as well as group work to be completed during the course. But these experiences offered us opportunities to be out of our comfort zone and build our confidence. Meanwhile, the lecturers in AMD were passionate to share their expertise, insight and motivation with the student. Other staff like laboratory staff, librarian and administrative staff were also very helpful and accommodating. And uh, despite the fact that AMD is not located in the USM main campus, the facilities provided were adequate and good enough for the student. So, if you are interested in computer science and want to further your study, I'm the US MP. Next, we're going to say what the our current student, Shahrid, testimony uh, or comment about the program. I hope the, the video is smooth. Is there any lagging on the video just now? I hope the video is smooth. I hope we can have a good watch. Really? Right, that's okay. I'm going to have a recorded version posted to, uh, posted later after the session so you may have a look later right so everyone my name is Muhammad Shari bin Saidin and I am a master student of science in computer science uh, so basically I want to share with you guys about my experience being a student here for almost about uh, a year so first and foremost uh, what and I say is the PPT has equipped me with the updated theoretical knowledge, which I can consider uh, coincide with our uh, development of technologies nowadays. And in terms of lab practicals, IPPT also provided us with uh, uh, advanced uh, instruments and devices and guiding and allowing us to handle the instruments by ourselves. Uh, which is necessary to build uh, our skills and uh, which are needed uh, in our working life later. And in terms of transfusion science program, IPPT also has provided uh, me an opportunities to do my attachment at Pusat Dara Negara, which is our National Blood Center, giving me more uh, understanding uh, about how the blood is processed, uh, which includes from the don donation until uh, the blood products are received uh, by the patients. And furthermore, um, PPT environments also are very convenient uh, with the facilities such as cafe and uh, library are just nearby. So students uh, does not need to travel far to get uh, food or any reference for their studies. Uh, and what more interesting is that uh, the students uh, in IPPT is coming from a different background, which are uh, around the world, allowing us to uh, building a networking and learn and exchange new cultures and share our different views. Uh, and lastly, what I can say is that IPPT has uh, 
giving me an amazing experience here during my time as a student uh, in IPBT. Right. Thank you, Shari. Next. Everyone, my name. So, okay, that is all about Transfusion Science Program, right? So, back here in AMDI, here in IPPT, we also have other opportunities for a full-time research mode. Such. So, so, all right. Um, for you guys to make sure that this is the, 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 the this session is basically to introduce AMDI, right? So I've introduced earlier about the academic program, uh, mixed mode or the one year program, make or mixed mode program for offered by IPPT. So now I'm going to invite those lecturers um, who have a sort of um, vacancy for the full time research mode students to share with our potential students about the available projects that they have, right? So now, now for now, I'll begin with one of the project, available project shared by Dr. Azrul, one of our lecturers in Regenerative Medicine Clusters. So he basically offered a PhD vacancy on a project title, Study on Interaction Between Polymer-Based Artificial Blood with Human Vascular Endothelial Cells. So the location here is here in, um, in AMDI, Bertam. Research field related is polymer chemistry and cell compatibility studies. So the academic qualification that you may want to know is you may have MSc degree in chemistry or related uh, field from a recognized institution with a minimum CGPA of 3.3 or with indexed publication, highly proficient in spoken and written English. Ooh, he, the, the Azrul, as a supervisor, so he preferred the candidate to have a strong motivation, good interpersonal and communication skills, and able to work independently. Monthly stipend is available for successful applicant. Quantum will be determined upon discussion. And thirdly, the research project is fully sponsored by Ministry of Higher Education's FRGS grant. And fourth, the shortlisted applicant will be interviewed. So if you're interested to know further, you can send your resume or CVs to Dr. Azrul, um, azrul.zabidi at usm.my. So, so take time to jot down the email and the required um, academic qualification. So if you're interested, you can drop, <coughs> drop an email to him. And all right. Okay, lastly, I'm gonna share a some montage of the cut to, to give you guys a glimpse about the you know the life in IPPT.
right. Do browse further www.omni.usm.my slash mscts for the transfusion program uh, details and uh, information. Yeah. Right. Um, I'm going to stop sharing the uh, screen. Um, now I would like to invite um, our lecturers. Um, who anyone who have um, any announcement or any vacancy pro projects that you want to advertise here? I, I'll start with Dr. Ernest. Um, Dr. Ernest, do you have anything that you wanted to share with us? Uh, no, Eva. So far, no new project from me. <laughs> All right. Okay. Thank you. Thank right. you for joining <laughs> us. Right. So uh, I have here Dr. Right, so okay, so we have Dr. Ahzad who is the respondent, our respondent at the blood bank, one of the, uh, the common facilities or common center that our student, TDI student, will be using in the future if you join us. Hi, Ahzad. Hello, Eva. Right, okay, um, how are you? Hope you're doing well. Good, good, thank you. So are you ready to, 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 to bring us around? All right, uh, so I'll start with our transfusion unit. Uh, let me, uh, how do I change the camera? Hmm. So Dr. Hansen is all, uh, one of our module coordinator for transfusion science. So now he's uh, bringing uh, us a uh, 360 views on the uh, blood bank um blood bag at a uh, clinical trial center IPPT. all right uh here is the uh, blood bank or tabung darah so this is the reception area uh so okay reception area okay i hope you can see the videos i hope it's not lagging so all right so here is the blood collection part i think we have Yes, we have a donor. <laughs> All right. Okay, yes, so good. here is the uh, uh, blood collection area, lah. Okay, that's the our nurse. <laughs> All right. So let's go to the uh, actual lab for for the students. So the students, I think, will will be part of some attached here, right? Before we do, we go to to the uh, blood bank. So here is the our paka, Dr. Rahim. Uh, so here is the corridor in EDL in the uh, advanced diagnostic unit. So we have quite a lot of uh, numbers of units. So here we have the transfusion tabung darah, uh, makmal tabung darah here. Okay. So okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, here is one of our MLTs. Uh, Okay. Component. Okay. Here is uh, all the uh, components uh, where are uh, where all the components of blood uh, when separated are, are stored, and we have uh, quite a number of uh, machines here. Okay. Uh, I hope Dr. Salma is there. Uh, Dr. Salma is interviewing a potential blood donor. I see. Uh, right. Yeah, Doctor Sharifa is not here at the moment. Right. So let's let's have a look again if Doctor Salma is free. Sorry, Dr. Salma is not free. Uh, so, but I hope when you join our program, you can have a physical tour to, to our uh, transfusion unit in EDL. Okay, I think, uh, I think I can end it here. Right, okay. Thank you, Dr. Azad. Um, right. Right. Okay, see you later. Okay. All right, bye. bye. Okay. Now, I think we have another respondent, um, Salwani, 
in the library, right? So I'm gonna I'm gonna need your help to bring our audience to the uh, for the uh, virtual tour. Oh, okay. In the library, me... is it possible? Uh, sure. But let me set up first. <laughs> I was on uh, on the computer. Okay. Is anybody seeing me yet? Okay, yes. Okay. Okay, this is um uh how how can I see? Okay, all right. Okay, this is um actually uh this is a place um a discussion room. So we can uh, actually it's quite small, but it can fit uh, about twelve people in normal uh, situation. Uh, and then uh, there is a rack of uh, thesis. Uh, this is actually the second floor, uh, so a lot of books, and also you you can see a plenty of space uh, where we can uh, do a group uh, discussion. Uh, and then this is a more. Um, more like individual um, study room. And then um, we can also uh, go downstairs as well. Let me go down the stairs. A lot of books here, um, a lot of books dedicated for um, clinical and uh, medical stuff. So if you are, um, you need not to worry about um, clinical uh, or med medicine books. So uh, that is all about uh, library, I think. <laughs> Yeah. All right. Okay. Okay. Thank you very much. So there's also, I think there's also a a student lounge area, if I'm not mistaken, right? Uh, student lounge area is actually on the other side of uh, the building. Okay. But I'm okay. Not... <laughs> but that's okay. That's okay. That, that, that's good enough. Thank you, okay. Sivani. Okay. Thank you. Much. All right. So so basically that is basically the virtual tour of the library and also the blood bank. So we also have another faculty students. We have a cafeteria. You have a student student lunch area where you can have a small discussion. So you know, um, hang out a between class or and have small chats with friends, and and also a workstation for you guys to you know do some revision. Um, right. So that is about IPPT in general, and also about the program in general. Uh, I also wanted to invite Dr. Azwa as our head of cluster. If he, Dr. Azwa, are you there? Okay, yes, Efa, no problem. Dr. Azwa, right. Okay. <laughs> Thank you for joining us. All right, so as a head of cluster, I wish you um, have some a few words to welcome our students. Okay, let me share my slide first. Okay, assalamualaikum uh, and, and good evening to everybody. So I hope uh, we will have uh, a nice and uh, welcoming introduction from Dr. Efa. Uh, just a few uh, important information to share. Uh, for your information, uh, MSc Transfusion Science and MEC uh, Master of Medicine Transfusion Medicine, uh, IPPT or USM is the only uh, institution that hosts of this program, uh, none from other university in Malaysia or even at South East Asia. So uh, I think uh, for the opening uh, Master of Science, Transfusion, Transfusion Science, your job prospect is very uh, uh, promising uh, because uh, I mean uh, as uh, the uh, Transfusion a blood transfusion service uh, upon planning from the KKM uh, Ministry of Health. They they plan to have a, a very specialized unit in transfusion 
uh, apa ni services uh, where they will have uh, blood transfusion specialist. So, kalau ada blood transfusion specialist, definitely they need uh, a supporting uh, team uh, will that will consist uh, the scientists uh, in transfusion science. So, those yang are enroll this program, uh, uh, this is your, this will be your your future apa ni career pathway. Uh, so macam yang Dr. Eva mentioned the earlier on, uh, this program is 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 a very specific. It can be disadvantage. Can you hear me? Yes, yes. Ah, okay. Uh, advantage. Uh, if you really explore in the field, this advantage, kalau uh, you 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 apa ni, uh, uh, you tak dapat peluang uh, in the field. Uh, so nowadays people di luar sana, uh, sometimes they love to take uh, courses yang general. So at the end of the day, they tak specialist and tak specific. So if you commit yourself with your interest in transfusions. Uh, medication issue so mm -hmm. i think uh this is the right cause for you okay i think that's all for me okay thank you dr Zohar. thank you very much for the um briefing it's nice anyway to know that we are the only in malaysia and south asia that offer this uh, the transfusion science and transfusion medicines course uh, related courses so yeah if you're joining us you are lucky enough but it's not many of transfusion scientists yet so yeah um i hope we can we can see you in the next coming semesters yeah uh so is there any questions from the audience red one do you have any further questions you want you want to ask Are you there, Ridwan? I'm so clear with, with the explanation. Right. right. Okay. Hope to see you soon, yeah? For sure, for sure. I will continue my master, my master in this transition. Uh, oh, good to hear yeah, good, good, good to hear that. Okay. All the best for the final. All right. Um, other than Ridwan, uh, Subashini, do you have any, any further questions that you want to ask? No, right. So uh, if you need more explanation, if you need more detail, you can drop. Um, that's okay. You can drop me an email. Fr at usm.my. Yeah, keep in touch. I hope to see you in the next coming semester. Yeah. All right. Um, Siti Soleha, do you have any question? No, no. Okay. So uh, I guess that is all um, about the session today. Um, do we have any other lecturers that join us? Salma, I think Salma is not available at the moment. Um, Dr. Salma is one of the um, transition uh, medicine specialists. Uh, so he, she is one of the highly um, skills uh, specialized. Um, uh, lecturers in transfusion medicines and transfusion science in IPPD. So, yeah. Um, who else? Dr. Shalina. I also see Dr. Shalina. Hi, Dr. Shalina. Welcome to the slot. Um, Nur Zafira, are you there? Do you have any question to ask? I guess no. All right. So, uh, Dr. Ernest, do you have anything to say? Welcome the student, perhaps? No? All right. I think so. Yeah. I think that's all for the session today. Thank you very much for joining us. I, um, I wish all the best for you guys in the future. So hope to see you guys um, in the coming semesters.
right. anything if you if you want to know more you can just drop me an email at fr.usm.my okay i'm going to end the session today i'm going to end the session now right thank you very much for joining us all right thank you very much okay thank you